All right, so now we're going to talk about tags and how you manage tags once you've come up with them. So in the last module, we talked about how to come up with your naming scheme, your taxonomy for the tags you're going to use uh, throughout your active campaign funnels and uh, automations. Uh, now we're going to talk about how you can manage those and get them inside active campaign. So hopefully you've downloaded the spreadsheet here that's free. Uh, just follow the link uh, on the previous video. We've come up with our tag types and we've come up with our specific tags that we're going to use throughout our automations and throughout active campaign. All right, so how do we, the reason, one of the great reasons for using a spreadsheet like this is once you're done with them, you've done all the planning, you can just copy and paste, put it straight into active campaign. So we're going to be using something called the tag manager. So I will just jump into active campaign here and you can find the tag manager under the contacts sub menu. So just come over here, click on contacts and you'll see manage tags here. So if you click on manage tags, you'll see all the tags that are currently in use in your account. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what we're looking at here and why this is important and it might inform the way you design uh, your automations, etc. So what you can see is here you've got uh, your tag name here and then you've got this column here, which is contacts and automation. So let's have a look at this running program one, for example. Um, you can see that it says there are currently 10 contacts who have this tag associated to them. And if we want to see who those specific 10 contacts are, all you need to do is click on that. And I'll show you that in a second. And then the other thing is, where are these tags in use? Which automations are using these tags? And you can see the running program lead tag is in use in two different automations. And if you want to know which ones they are, again, just click on it and it will tell you it's in being used in that automation and that automation. And if you click on it, that will take you straight to the automation itself. And if you click on the number 10 here, uh, as we said, that'll take you straight to those 10 contacts who have that particular tag, right? And you might want to send a specific offer or something out to those 10 people or put them into an automation or whatever. Right, so let's back up a step. Um, we'll go back to our spreadsheet where we've created all our tags. All we have to do is just highlight the tags, all of them, copy, back to have campaign and just paste them straight into there, hit add tag, and that will create all those tags in your tag manager automatically. One of the other great byproducts of creating your tags first rather than doing it on the fly is the fact that once a tag has been created in tag manager, it will be available in those little pre-populated dropdowns. So as you start typing the beginning of the tag name, it will automatically populate those tags if they're already in the tag manager. Much less chance of misspelling it uh, if you're in the middle of building an automation, for example. All right, so what can we do in the tag manager aside from adding tags? Well, as I said, you can see the stats on where this tag is being used. Uh, if you need to rename this tag for whatever reason, uh, like for example, you want to change that from one word to two words, you can do that here. Another great thing you can do, which I highly recommend doing, is putting a little note like this underneath each tag so that when you come back to it, six months, nine months, 12 months from now, you remember what that tag is for. Or if you have other team members that are using the account as well, um, they'll know what it's for as well. So for example, if you look at this one, um, you can come in here and you can edit it and you can say, you know, they attended the August webinar or whatever. You just type whatever you need to type, type whatever you need to type in that box which will give you a description of what that tag's for. You can also obviously delete a tag if you're no longer using it, you don't want to use it anymore. I would suggest you make sure that it's not in use by other automations. So make sure that number is zero before you go deleting it. Because if you delete it from here and it's still in use in an automation, next time somebody goes through that automation, they'll get that tag and that tag will reappear again. So this is a good way to make sure that you're purging the tag from the system. And the other thing you can do, uh, is merge tags. So say for example, you have two tags that are spelled slightly different. Um, or slightly different variations on the same tag, for example, because a couple of people have done it differently or you did it, done it differently over time, 
you can come in and you can say, look, I want to merge these two tags. You check both boxes and you come up here and you just say merge. And it will say, well, you've got two tags here or three tags or five tags or ten tags, whatever it is. What do you want to merge them into? What do you want the one remaining tag to be? And you can have it, you can have it be whatever you want. Um, and then you just say merge selected tags. Boom, boom. Now, all those tags will be merged into one. And you'll just be left with the one tag there. And all those contacts who had the other two, three, five, ten tags will all have that one merged tag now as well. And then lastly, you can also search uh, up here in this box. So if you're looking specifically for lead tags, for example, to see how many leads you've got in the system, if I just search by the prefix, for example, it will show me, hey, there's a couple of lead tags there, and here are the people that have those lead tags, etc. So this is the tag manager. This is where you can uh, manage all your tags, and we'll come back to it throughout the course. Uh, but this is where you set them up. So this is where they go from your spreadsheet into Active Campaign, so that you can use them throughout. Now, one last thing I will say about tags before we get off the subject and move into other stuff is there are many different ways to add tags. Uh, you can add them from within an automation. You can add them from an API call. You can add them from a Zap, for example, which we'll talk about later. Say your shopping cart might pass information through and have a tag associated with it. And you can add them from forms. So when someone submits a form, you can have that form add a tag as well. Now, the great thing about Active Campaign is you can do anything you want. It's a blank sheet of paper. The bad thing is you can do anything you want. It's a blank sheet of paper. Uh, so a little trick I've learned over the years is if you, for example, have a form that adds a tag, um, that's great and it will work absolutely 100%. But six months down the track or a year down the track or whatever, when you're trying to audit that uh, automation or change or edit that automation and you're trying to figure out where a particular tag gets added, uh, it, sometimes it becomes really hard because if it's being added by a zap or an API call from your shopping cart, for example, if it's being added by a form, it doesn't show up here in the tag manager. So you, you have to go through all your forms individually and figure out where that tag gets added or at the very least make a note here that says, hey, this tag is added by form XYZ. So you can go back and find it later. I tend to try and use tags mostly within automation. So tags get added or removed mostly with automations because that way I get these stats right here that tell me exactly where that tag is being added or removed. Uh, and if I need to edit anything, I can go straight to it. So I try to use automations primarily. If you are going to use forms or API calls or something, at least make a note here so that you can find it later. All right, let's get started. We'll see you in the next module.